Hey guys, uh, this is the third video, uh, and I just wanted to demonstrate uh, how the helicopter uh, behaves in the bench, and just like basically how to uh, test the model and make sure that it's uh, doing the right thing. Um, so what I'm going to show is um, how bailout works, um, how I arm it, uh, and then uh, also how to set up this idle on bailout so you have a really uh, low RPM on the head, uh, and you can make your uh, bailouts a bit smoother. Uh, so first I'm going to go ahead and spool up here. So I'm just going to uh, go ahead and flick out a hold. Now remember, uh, there's no load on the head right now. So uh, the way the governors work with no load, they can be kind of funky on the bench where you see uh, more over speeding or they can act like they're very slow and unresponsive. Uh, this is actually normal. Uh, without the, the loading, um, they, don't, they don't quite work right um, on the bench. So sometimes you got to play with it a little to get it to behave the way you expect. So, uh, it'll probably overspeed quite a bit here when I, uh, spool up. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's overspeeding a bit. Okay, there it goes. So I'm letting it settle into its RPM here. So this is uh, like 2200 RPM, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll arm my bail out. So I pull, I pull the switch down, okay? And then I hit hold. Okay, so you see how, um, see how it didn't cut off right away? Or it's just kind of slowly turning off. This is actually because we don't have a uh, load on the head right now. We don't have blades. And so it was very slow. So let me spool up again. A little over speeding there. Okay. You can hear the uh, pitch precompensation here. That's normal. Okay, so I just hit hold again. And see it was slow again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do this time is I'm just gonna flick out and it's gonna spool up. See, okay, now it's in bailout, but it wasn't fast. That's because uh, it's not behaving right. Okay, so now you see it actually bailed out correctly. Um, and don't worry, I mean, this kind of funky behavior on the bench is normal. So um, now if you look at my radio, um, I'm in the mix, and I can adjust this um, rate uh, mix to uh, adjust my idle on bailout. So here's minus 19, minus 20. So I can kind of pick what, what I want my idle to be. So you see right here it's going a little faster. So I can keep going faster or slower. This is this is about 22% uh, minus 22%, and uh, this is about what I like for my idle on bailout. So it's, it's just spinning a little bit, uh, and now watch when I bail out. You see it quickly go up. A little overspeeding on that. That's because there's no load. And then I can flick out again, and now now I'm back into uh, bail bailout mode. I'm gonna flick out again. Okay. Now when I'm done uh, with bailout mode, I can flick this back into flight setup one, kill it. And you see it died. Okay, so now it's safe to go back into normal soft start. See now there's a full soft start. Okay. Now um, I talked about in the previous video um, one warning about uh, how this secondary switch can cause it to spool up. And when you, when you flick the switch, what it's going to do is it's going to go up to that slow RPM we just set. It's not going to fully spool up, but it's just a, a note of caution. So here we go. I'll just flip that. Okay, see that? So I didn't hit my throttle hold. I'm still in throttle hold. And I turned on the mix. Now you see the RPM went on. So if you happen to bump your radio where you hit this switch, right, you don't hit your whole switch, it could, it could spool up like that. Um, so this is the way I like to set it up because um, I like having this idle on bailout. If you don't want that and you don't want to use a soft start in the ESC, um, you can go ahead and uh, do it another way. But this is this is the way I'm doing it. So that's a problem, but um, just you need to be careful you don't hit that switch accidentally, just like the throttle hold switch, and you're, you're you'll be okay. Okay, so one other thing, um, while you got it on the bench, I always test fail safe. The way I do that is I just shut off the radio. So here's the radio, I'm gonna shut it off. And I wanna make sure that um, the model doesn't spool up. Okay, so the radio's off. 
Model didn't spool up. Okay, so I confirmed that my fail safe's correct. So I'm ready to go fly. That's pretty much it. Turn the radio back on. There we go. Okay. So the helicopter didn't start up, so my fail safe is good to go. Okay, thanks a lot.